Um, I would have to say Greenland. Um, um, I was uh, stationed over in Greenland for about seven months. Um, it is, it is, it is in the cold. I, I love the cold weather. Uh, me and four foot of snow, I can get out there, mass. I'm a barbecue, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm in a, get snow? my, in the snow. I, I love the snow. I, I love Wait, the man, snow. Where, where is this, where is this place you speak of? Greenland. 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 Is, that, is that Ireland? Is it in the UK? Is it well, it's, it, it's, it's, it's near Ireland, but it's like Ireland, Ireland. But it's on the backside. It's on oh, yeah. the backside. So it's cold, cold. It's cold, cold. Yes. It's a different kind of cold. It'd be a different kind of snow, cold. and it'd be like wait, twelve below or some stuff, stuff like that. Um, it can easily, yeah, it can easily be anywhere from five to ten below. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord of mercy, I don't know if I'll be able to. I don't know. I, I I still haven't figured out in my mind. And you know, I think I'm a research analyst on Google. I'm like officially certified on Google. I can research anything. But I have not figured out how the human body can stand that type of temperature if you're used to being in warm climates. So I'm used, I'm a California raised, and I was born and raised in California. So for me to go to Ireland, Canada, Utah, I'd be like, oh, oh, the cold hit different. How many places have you traveled to? And besides um, Greenland, is it Greenland? What it would be Greenland. your favorite vacation destination? Uh, that I've traveled or just not traveled? What, what, what would your favorite destination be? Because my, my favorite my favorite destination will be uh, Saint Croix. Um, I I love the I love to spend about you know forty five days in in, in Saint Croix. Forty five days. Mm -hmm. Forty five days. Okay. All right. All right. I'm not mad at that. All right. And if you had a birthday party, what? Three singers would you have perform at your birthday party if you you had it your way? Uh, let's see. Uh, the Gap Band for one. Uh, let's go with um, Anita Baker. Okay. And we got to throw a ringer off in there. She she is younger than the two that I made mention. She a little hot little thing, man. I'm talking about you. You know that you know back in our days, we we they had a song out there called Pyt. You know, pretty young thing. Uh huh. You know, but this this one is is hotter. Can I than guess? Me. Can I guess? Sure, you can guess. Is it Rihanna? Oh no, no. Mm -hmm. Tiana Taylor. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. That's it. I'm out. Um, but she's crazy though, and and you didn't and, tell and, me and that I'm, part. And and I'm a I'm a little. I'm a little level of of a little craziness, like a little, little cray cray. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm a I'm a level. You know, I'm a level of little cray cray craziness. But the girl is crazy. Yeah, she okay. real crazy. Yeah, but uh, Anne Marie. If y'all don't know who Anne Marie is, yeah, I mean this little hot little thing, boy, she make an old man like me, you know, get up and do something. Wow, change his whole life. So you have a type. Um, yeah, I do. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. Let's keep it one thousand. Let's keep one thousand. Let's keep it one thousand. He said, "Yeah, I do have a time." Okay, so let's get into it. This is the second half of Point of View with my speeches and friends. I got my boy here, Mr. Black Snake Moan in the building, gang, gang. Shout out to all fifty-four people in here. Me appreciate you. Now, listen. Let's talk. Let's talk shop talk. Okay. We both are on the dream team. And, right. uh, you know, you know how I got grandfathered into the position right now. I'm just filling in for, you know, stepping in, you know, as needed for Crow or whatever. What about how has it been being on the dream team? What changed for you as a streamer and so on and so forth? Like, what's your experience like that you would want to tell the people about the dream team and what we do behind the scenes and why things are the way they are? Um, when, when, um, when I was going through the, when I was going through the interview to get on the dream team, um, there were a few times that Gunny called me to the box. Uh, there was a few times that, you know, he ensured that, you know, really Rebecca was in the box, who is our, uh, host lead. She is the one that, 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 uh, you know, gets us together and everything. 
And so it was just the, the, the type of questions that they were asking me that, you know, at the time, <clears throat> I was losing my way with, with, with tag. Um, I was losing my way. Uh, it was easy for me to stay off a of tag two weeks at a time, a month at a time. And I think I had just come off of, I'm going to say it's sabbatical where, you know, I hadn't, I hadn't been on tag. Um, and still to this day, I'm so easy that I can stay off a of tag for, you know, two or three days, four days, five days a week. And I wouldn't miss a beat. I, I wouldn't miss getting back on tag. But uh seemed like when I took that uh that offer to join the the dream team, it seemed like it gave me a little bit of boost of energy to to want to um be on tag, um, to be able to um talk to people. Uh, I think I have a natural motivation, um, so to speak, uh, when it comes to tag uh, because of the background. Um, someone basically told me what the acronym MOAN means as a man of astonishing nurture. And with that being said, it just seemed like more doors open up. People just would come in, flock in. Um, we would just continue to talk, uh, all different kind of stuff. And I started, like I said, getting a, um, a backfield of being back on tag. He came up with the mentorship program and I just, I just fell in love with that, you know, just to be able to help somebody, uh, you know, any of the battle contestants, whether they were former contestants current contestants or, you know, people that, uh, you know, uh, had never known anything about the, the gunning right. games. Behind the scenes, because I am retired military, um, there is a true fact. I do have a lot of time on my hand, but I, I invest my time in, you know, a lot of people are afraid of the computer. So I dove into the computer I've torn computers apart. Uh, you know, I know that admin type stuff with the computer, uh, the military background, um, you know, just still young, um, still vibrant. Um, so behind the scenes when, you know, when we have to go out here and, and look for pet owners, which is what we are supposed to be doing and not just saying, hey, you know, want to give a shout out to your pet owner. It's between me and you, right? Yeah. Uh, go out there and actually look for pet owners um, um, and not give an excuse. I got a, you know, iPhone or Android or whatever, but, but having to go do the work to, to give these same contestants the same opportunity that we had. I love it. Yeah. I love it. You know, I didn't, I didn't know anything about the mentor program. I actually, that's a whole nother show, but um that's something that I, I love to do. I was an assistant training manager for Starwood Hotels and Resorts for eight years. And I used to train everybody that came into the company, you know, on how to sell our product, how to present it and things like that, how to talk to people on the phone, how to do a rejection and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm going to have to talk to Gunny about that. I, I like stuff like that. And I mentor here often, not even knowing that I'm, you know, mentoring to them. They're like, oh, you helped me. I'm like, I didn't mean to do that. I was just keeping it real. But I know sometimes that my words hold weight. Um, let's see. Say less point of view. He wants to know our point of view. What do y'all benefit out of supporting the dream team? I really want to know that. Well, to me, I'm going to answer this and then I'm going to let Snake uh, do his thing. To me, I've learned that I met a lot of people and I've helped a lot of people figure out how to maneuver the versus the battle and stuff for them to be able to get the diamonds and stuff that they need on their battle. That's what I've learned about helping the dream team. It just help everybody. You can't just do, that's a lot of work. You got to do a lot of stuff behind the scenes to keep those games in order and all that stuff. All we see is the verses going up. All we see is right. people being laid and this, and that, and that, no host there and all that. It's a lot. It'd be a lot going on. And it's just, 
it's a big thing because tag is is it's a featured show on the tag. I mean, it's a featured event, so it's like it's kind of hard to like to tell you exactly everything that goes on behind the scenes. But to me, my purpose on there is to help people get through the battle and 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 be good and get them connected and do their thing so they can go ahead and get their diamonds. But go ahead, Black Snake. I talk too much. Without you know, uh, and, and it's good you you on your soapbox. Uh, that's that's good. <laughs> so I'm not going to deviate from anything that Mass says because it is absolutely true. So what what do I think all of us benefit from it? We all benefit the fact because we get to help the contestants. So that's a benefit within itself uh, from uh, you know the mechanics the the mechanics that. Uh, are working. There's a lot of, as she's saying, there's a lot of working pieces uh, behind the scenes in order to get a tag live event jump started and ready to go. And uh, again, those mechanics are sign up, line numbers, matches, coin toss court, and dating time. Those are the five mechanics that we get to help you all uh, with. Uh, as Gunny say, uh, we are here for the people. We are here for you all. That's another benefit that I give up my time to to help other people. All right. Exactly. And also the phase, I benefited from the phase. I ain't even front. I went from, I went from like 7,000 phase to like 8,800. I'm like, ooh, let's go. But no, I think that the, uh, the concept of the gunny games is a good thing. It helps people. I've had four. I lost my first one, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to be all right. So I know that you have a show as well that you have, that you host on the uh, tag app as well. Uh, that is in conjunction with the tagged gunny battle games. Tell us a little bit about your show. Uh, Monday Night Smackdown is the, uh, is the pregame show. This is the only... Uh, approved pregame show uh, to the uh, Gunny Games. Um, so uh, it's just an opportunity where, you know, matches can be uh, generated and some smack, you know, talk uh, mm -hmm. are able to go on uh, with only two exceptions, and that is no cussing and no bullying. Um, and, and we do it every day. We, we talk smack every day. Uh, amongst each other and we don't bully each other and we don't uh, cuss each other out. So that was the purpose of, of doing all of that. And again, it was something that, you know, the gunny uh, decided to want to allow to go on and ask me to take charge of that. And as the soldier I am, um, said, sure, why not? Of course, of course. I think that's wonderful because a lot of times when I first got into the the gunny games. I was so lost. I mean, somebody had told me like, oh yeah, do a gunny. Call so-and-so out. I'm like, oh. so, you know, make a long story short, I was so confused on what to do. I had to ask people like, what do I do? And then I spent hours in gunny's life. But once I got through that first one, I was a pro at it. I think it's beneficial for people, especially new streamers. To, if you don't, even if you don't win your match, it's a, great way for you to get out there and get exposure because everybody watches those gunny games whether they like to admit it or not um but um to piggyback off of what you said the um i mean not what you said what he asked what's the benefit of us helping the dream team like black monk said there's people out here that need help and need guidance and need to know how to, to get these matches together. You gotta make sure that you look out for your people. A lot of times people get the misconception that they're on um, some type of pedestal where they're so much better than everybody else that they should look up to them and they should have to throw diamonds to them and, and board watch it. How do you feel about board watching? What's your point of view on board watches? Lex, as, far, as far as board watching, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my same theory about that. So you you do you you hit that red live button, you go live, and and you got all these people coming here. Well, I'm gonna tell all 57 uh, uh, that's in here, right? Because it's just 57 of us. Listen, right. if you're doing it, stop doing it. Stop going and giving 10 cents worth of gifts and expecting. $200 in return. 
Period. I'm going to say that again. Stop board watching and giving 10 cents worth of gifts and expecting $200 every turn. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And what you put into this app, I'm a firm believer, what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. If when I first started, I was like, I'm not swiping my car for get that. I ain't doing that. Who they think they is? And they calling me broken. I like being called broke. Now that I know what the swipe is about, I'm like, call me broke, please. The black VIP just throw everything off. Hey, peaches. I'm mm -hmm. like, you wasn't that nice to me when I had no ring around my name. So I right. like to deal with the low hanging fruit for the most part. Like most of the people that come into my life, they're new for the first time they come into my life and they're like, oh, you're the first person I met and teach me. I'm like, listen, I don't even know you, partner. Then I'll teach them how to gift and then they'll run off and gift somebody else. How do you feel about, what's your point of view about people saying, oh, that's my gifter. That's my gifter. What, is, what does that mean? Well, you know, I'm a little different. I'm a little different. And, and remember, I said we all started at zero and we are where we are at now. But as I got, as, as I learned from this person, that person, this person, that person, this person, a whole bunch of people that I learned a lot of different things from. Now, I am. Now, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all right now, my overall number one is in this live stream right now. Period, Pooh. Period. My, you know, my overall number one is in here. You know my number two, right? Well, listen, I, I don't need you answering the question I was just to ask you right now. <laughs> and and, and this is one of you with Peaches and Friends. I got Black Snake Moan in the box. We going in, y'all people. I'm trying to get in there. And he, he like, come on in. But I ain't got nothing to hide. What is it? What's the deal? We're going to check. Right. Period. Right. Listen. But but I but I just say this little piece right here. You ask me what do I think about that? And I tell people, leave my leave my one and two alone. They're my girls. <laughs> they're, they're mine. They're, they're mine. If you if you need to some shooters or, or snipers or you know these all these different names that they have for them now. Yeah. Hey man, go out there and, go out there and find them like I did. They, they mine. I did. <laughs> you got the same 24 hours in a day partner i'm gonna need you to put forth the effort okay yeah so listen on that vein um what type of relationship well i'm i'm me don't touch my one through four one through five really don't touch them don't play with them don't buy them as a pet don't come over my house messing with them okay so that's that's black soprano ceo diamond eyes reese cup and crow okay and say less. Right. Anyways, what kind of relationship do you have with your top five? Uh, top five. So I counted two. Uh, she coming back on the app now. And the other two, who is four and five? Wow, that means you don't know. No, four and five. I'm four and five. Four. Who is four? I, I mean, when you say relationships, I, I mean, if, if they go live and, and, and we ain't seen each other, the, the last four and five, I mean, if they go live and we ain't seen each other, I mean, put it this way. I ain't going to go in the room and I'm blue. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Have you, so what's, what about your top three? Let's, let's break it down, son. Because since you don't uh, my, top, my, my top three, my, my top three is, is, is my top three because they they are again they are genuine these are you know tag community uh supporters um everybody knows it's daisy baby um her you know i met crow somewhat through through daisy right okay. you know you you meet certain people through right. through people and right. um i got daisy to enter into the gunny games uh, Yasmin just had her first gun of game. Uh, who's begging? She's in the comments. So it, it's just meeting people, and you know they're they're venturing off or they're they're trying to figure out and understand what you're doing. So all of mine, my top twenty, we are all trying to you know again support each other and what we are doing. Your interests become my interests. Uh, you know, as I first met you, uh, I've not seen nobody that can move around on the dance floor 
like you, baby. And and, and I told you in your live stream, I'll I'll dance you, I'll dance you all night. We we'll we'll close the club down. <laughs> we sure will because my feet, I got bad feet. Let me tell you, let me just tell you about these feet of mine. If you hit that big toe of mine, it's all over for the whole party. The party, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sitting there. I need ice, water, fan me, all that stuff. I can only move, but I got like two signature moves, you know, and I, I update them. You know, I don't I don't do too many. So accumulatively, I may have about six moves. I just reinvent them, you know, the pop lock and all that good stuff. I'm more of a speaker. <laughs> but that day I was just so turned up. It was like my birthday battle. And I was just like, all these people coming in here. I didn't cry that time. The first time I did my gunny battle, I cried like a baby. I was like, oh. Man, this don't make no sense. This doesn't make any sense. I didn't get a so chance listen. to see that one, buddy. Okay. I have about six moves. He got about six moves. Okay, well, listen, y'all watching the, a point of view with Peaches and friends. Listen, I'm my co-host. They did not. TT Mama came, but I don't know where she's still here or not. We're going to keep this thing going, all right? So what is your prediction for the Super Bowl? Do you think your team going to make it? Um. Yes, Um. I, I got... 100% uh, confident in, uh, in my team uh, that we, we will be in the hunt. We, we will be in the, the hunt for uh, a Super Bowl, yes. <laughs> it's going to be, y'all going to get it. I mean, I'm talking about like this year, like for the 20th. Um, you know, the, 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 way, the way they're playing, um, um, the, the sense of urgency, um, I love it because – if, if you don't know anything about Texas, Texas is where everything is big. You know, we putting we putting thirties and vols on Cadillacs and doodle bugs and 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 and, and G wagons and you know um, and so it's just like the star. You know, if right. you put that that star on your head, you know you 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 got to be out here performing. You know, it's about performance. Well, you heard it here, people. And Black Snake also. If you could eat one type of food for the rest of your life, or one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, that's easy. Chicken spaghetti. You know, I'm a, I'm a preacher. So I don't want I don't want no more breasts. I don't want no more wings. I don't want no more chicken. But I can eat chicken spaghetti and, and live for the rest of my life. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think I would uh, second that. You know what? I haven't had spaghetti in a long time. I might have to get that going real quick. Also, when is your show air, babe? She didn't tell us that. Uh, the show is uh, every Monday, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, the offset to that is this is day after the Gunny Games, right? So today is day after. So he's incorporated that... Um, the um, evaluations. So he does the, the evaluations uh, after the gunning game. So if it falls on that Monday, then I will pick up the next Monday. Uh, will we have that little break before the 15th? Right. So I should right. get two two Mondays out of that before before I go back on again. Okay. Right. So that means so you talk to the people that was in the games that won or lost because that ain't right because I lost mine. And I you know, <laughs> the the thing about SmackDown, right, is just the willingness. Of course, you know, the fellas, the fellas don't mind talking smack. Right. Say, say, let's can, you know, agree with me on that one. We don't mind talking smack. It don't matter whoever, whatever. Right. We going to talk smack. The the stars, besides you and, and, and uh, you know, Jamila, um, 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 uh, you know, just y'all two. I'm just leave y'all two right there. Y'all don't mind talking smack. That's that's easy for y'all. But you know, you we we trying to get the stars to talk smack, but the stars, the stars don't want to bring it. They don't. They don't want to bring it. Well, you know yeah. what? I'm glad you hear that. Um, everybody knows now that this is going on. Um, a lot of times. We get pushed in the corner because they have all these things going on like that. But I think like the platform like this for you to come on and have a conversation and, and ask the questions that, you know, 
some people just never ask you. Actually, your number two told me to ask you that question about how is your relationship with the number one, two, and three. So I just want to throw that out there as well. Um, so, and also for people to know where you are, because a lot of times people will miss it. It's a lot of stuff going on on this app. It's over 10,000, 10 million people signing on this app. So it's like, you have to be able to make sure that you look out for your people, share the information, send the people to the right people so that way they can get on their way. Because this has been life changing for me. So I appreciate yes. all of that. And then you too, helping me out in the dream team stuff and everything like that. I'm like, okay, this feels like a little family for me. But you know, I always got to make sure that I stay true to myself, whatever I do. So I do want to thank you so much, Black Snake Mom. Did you have anything else that you want to add? Any more point of views? Oh, I was going to go into the... Um, how do you feel? Uh, what's your point of view on the coronavirus situation in your state? Are they handling things the right way or not? Because I'm touched by that because my husband was, um, he died from corona last year and his auntie as well. So I do want to get your point of view on that. What's your take on the vaccine, voter vaccine, or what are you going to do? As far as Texas, um, I think the, um, the, the, the alarm has went out. Um, I think um, I don't see the data quite regularly, but because of my Masonic background and how we, you know, COVID drive and everything, um, just get all the relative information uh, the, from Pfizer, 94% effective rate, Moderna, same, same effective rate, Johnson & Johnson, a lower effective rate. So when you are ready to get a vaccination and a vaccination is different from a shot, a shot is different than a vaccination. But when you're ready to get vaccinated, you have the data that you need to make the choice. We as people, not just black people, but we as people have been prone to self-medicate ourselves and self-diagnose ourselves. So get the get the facts, get vaccinated, get vaccinated. Okay. Are you vaccinated? Fully, fully Which vaccinated. One did you take? I took the Moderna. And why? Because uh, that's what the VA offered. So I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm a I go to the free places. You know, I'm a, right, right, I'm a soldier. Right, right. right. So my dad, um, rest in peace, uh, was a master sergeant in the Air Force. So. Um, gotta take mom to the VA today so we can go shopping. But hey, you know, <laughs> hey, we, uh, spend um, some of that money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, you took the Pfizer, got vaccinated, but I still absolutely I wear a mask all the time. I have a mask in here because I don't like people uh in my personal space anyway. So listen, I'm not gonna even hold you because when, when they said quarantine is six feet away, I was like, yes. Get out of my face. <laughs> uh, if, if, if you've been to that facility, uh, you know, you do, you you hear a lot of coughing and you hear a lot of aching and, and, and you know, this, that, and the other one. But um, I thank God uh, that I made mass one decision 22 and a half years ago um, to stand on the wall, uh, not only for my family, and I had a, a small family at that time. I was just newly, newly married, and and um, you know the streets was was calling, um, um, and I was just a running. Uh, but you know, went to the military, <clears throat> uh, stayed that length of time, um, achieved the highest enlisted rank that I I could achieve. Uh, that's on the Army Board, which is an E nine, which is a command sergeant major. Um, so having about 18 to 24,000 troops, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed leading troops. I enjoyed talking to a tree for six months. Um, even though it didn't talk back to me, I still had to a talk tree? to it. a tree. Yes. Yes. Okay. When you go to, when you go to drill sergeant school, um, you don't have troops there, you know, that you leading. So you have, you can pick any tree you want to, um, and you go, you go talk to that tree. You 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 tell that tree dress right dress and and you just getting yourself with the right. military commands. Even right. though the tree ain't gonna do what you uh, what you need the tree to do, uh, getting off of uh, four wheels onto a mechanized unit, which is tracks. Mm -hmm. um, 
jumping out of airplanes. Um, all of that was 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 tremendous experience. But Mass, let me let me dumb it down to the right experience. After all that many years, God had to arrest me. Mm. He he rested me through losing my mother. Mm. Mass broke broke me down to my knees. Right. But he said, son, he said, if you give me your life back, he said, I, I let you see some of it. Mm. I'm the only male person in my family that has set eyes on the Euphrates River. This is one of the largest river in the Bible that runs through all the rivers. Right. I done threw rocks and made them skip across that crystal blue water. But I'm the only male that's have ever set foot on the Euphrates River. But he said, you give me back what I gave you. I'll give you everything that you lost. And so when I stopped running from God and I began to answer my call as a preacher, a lot of people don't know on the tag app, I am a full-time preacher. There you go. I have experienced so much in life, but I can't, I can't, I, I can't tell it all of that experience, how God has been good to me. Right. Oh yeah. You absolutely can tell how good God has been to you. And I'm going to show you like this. I'm going to tell you like this. You have a purpose here on this app. I think that me being here on this app, I was depressed. I was just like, Ugh. and then I found a tag app and it actually changed my life. So be life changing for someone, love on someone, tell your people you love them, check on your people, love on your people while you can, because life is short and you have to know your purpose, live in your purpose, know who it is you are and be that person because God has you here for a reason. We all have our purpose in life. We can go down the direction we want to be like, you know what, this is the way I should go, but I'm going to go this way because I just feel like I should go this way. You go against the grain if you want to. He'll sit you right back at the center so you'll go the way he told you to go in the first place. So, again, <laughs> I want to thank you so much. Like, thank you, Mom. This was good. Good thank talk. You. Good thank talk. You. Thank, Thank you, you for the uh, all your gifts and all you guys coming in here. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all say Black Snake Moan, please, and thank you. And Black Snake Moan, go ahead and tell them when your show airs again so that way they can get in there and check everything out and talk some smack and all that good stuff. I see you, Shimmer. Uh, the Ooh. next show will air uh, the 15th. It will be the day of sign-up. Okay. All right. Get it will be the day, day of sign up. Thank you so much, Black Snake. We did time, y'all. See ya. See ya. Thank you so much, babe. I will come to see you soon. As soon as, I, as, soon as you catch a lot, when do you go live? When do you go live? When you feel like um, I, I don't have a set time to go live, like Monday through Friday, you know, whatever. I try to do mornings, I try to do midday. Um, and I try to do late at night, but I will tell you when I do go live, I try to do it at the top of the hour. So if I'm going to go live, I try to do it at 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. I try to do it at the top of the hour. Right. I got a little OCD like that, too. I can't end my live unless it's the exact hour. <laughs> Definitely. It's a pleasure uh, to be able to come on to your show. I thank you for the invite. I hope that you were able to peel back a, a little bit of Black Snake Moan. I'm a Gemini, so, you know, I'm just as stubborn and 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 I don't know what, and I'm spoiled rotten. I got to have everything my way, so, but but to be able to come on to your show and be able to uh, enter me, it was a pleasure. Thank you, babe. I appreciate you. Scam likely trying to get uh, me to do uh, something. Uh, do he call you scam likely? Okay, good. You're welcome, babe. I appreciate you so much, Black Snake. Moan in the building, children. Make sure you fave him. Fave me, too. I appreciate you, babe. Gang, gang. Thank All right, then. You be blessed, and you enjoy your day. Thank you, babe. I'm going to stop right. the video. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. Alexa Michelle, show for my old school jams playlist. We're going to do that. Thank you, Black Snake Moon. I appreciate you. Oh, oh.
Alexa, you gonna Alexa. Play my old school jams playlist. Why is she always doing like that in front of people? Playlist, old school jams. All right, I'm just a. I'm 